Today we will talk how we can convert and edit large size panoramas. I've prepared here some images. I have some tripod uh, images from the Sony 7R with size lenses. Then we have Inspire 2 with X7 camera. We have Inspire 1 with X5 cameras. We have a Matrix 200 with X5S camera. And we will see how we can edit these large size images into Affinity Photo. We have here loaded an image with 48,000 pixels per line. If we work with uh, large size images, only always be aware about your hardware. I use here a 32 GB RAM. I have 8 cores and I have a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3018. We will see uh, for this image we are at the limit from the, the RAM so it will be necessary to swap on the, the SSD. Make sure that your images are already on the SSD to have a fast treatment uh, from the processor. On my desktop computer I use 64 GB RAM and uh, on this computer I've also checked uh, my images so the, the biggest one with uh, 54,000 pixels per line is still below 64 gigabyte, but it will be more than 32 gigabyte on my laptop uh, computer. Now the first step we go into live projection. We will uh, correct the Nardier uh, image here and also the, the shadow from my computer, from my tripod computer. So we go down to the Nardir and we will now select uh, this image and also the tripod here. For this I go to the lasso. Now the, the image is converted into a stable image. We are no longer into edit live projection and we can now select the Nadir section. I am on add uh, more um, rectangular sections. So I can work directly also on my tripod gear. something like that and now we will fill this section. We go to in painting and now it depends on your computer how fast he can work. Let's see first uh, what happens with the RAM. And it's uh, for for this treatment, it's uh, more the the uh, CPU and also the inbuilt uh, graphic card who is used. We go up to seventy eight degrees temperature. So I use for my laptop additional uh, fans. On the between state here, it's still calculating. We can see that uh, it's a lot of swapping activity actually on the, the SSD card. Now it goes to in painting. And we are actually at more than 80 degrees. We can hear the fans. As I told you, I use additional fans below the, the laptop filled the, the section. It's a copy here from, from this one, so I will delete it with another in painting. This one will go faster as it's only a little section. I will also delete this one. Uh, 
and we can also work on, on this small section here so now we have quite a good result and we go back into live projection now here we have the rest of the tripod I will also delete this section and also my small tablet so we will select uh, this part here and the tablet something like that and then we will also use the in painting function now we will go back to live view and we can check the rest of the panorama you can also change your focal lens here on the view to go closer have a closer look but, but as this is done with a tripod uh, computer there will be no stitching errors it's very precise my tripod gear so we are still at 48,000 pixels and now we can export the, the file Now we will work on the Inspire 1 image X5. Here we can see 25 mm lens. We get a document size from about 42,000 pixels per line. And now we have a huge zone here from the sky. At this time, uh, 2017, I didn't any any shots. But I will show you now a trick how we can fill this with in painting. This uh, black zone is too high, too big for in painting, so we have to reduce it. First, I'll select here the sky. Then we will copy this sky to another layer. And now we will trim it at about this size, so that we have here only about 35 degrees in the sky so that it's easy to do with in painting now we reduce this layer to the ground layer now before we go to live projection we have to select this layer Go into live projection and now we get this hole too, so small that we can in paint it <clears throat> do not change this uh, field of view with 75 degrees you will have a performance problem if you do so so now we will fill it We have to extend our selection and now we will in paint this selection now we go back to our performance view we can see that the RAM is already used I do not work on the GPU 1 uh, graphic card, I work on the GPU 2 graphic card. I 
I use the NVIDIA GeForce only for CL reproduction. You can change that into settings from Affinity Photo. But as you see here, the, the RAM is fully occupied. Now let's see what we get. I will unselect and go back to live projection. Now we can check the rest of the image. We can also zoom in. That's me here on this spot and I'm all alone. So that's quite amazing what we can do with an Inspire 1 and the X5 camera. Now we have to finish the live projection before we save the, the image. Now we can see the final result and we will export it. Now we will work on the X5S 25mm. I took this image with the Matrix 200. Matrix uh, aircrafts are very good for heavy conditions from the weather. So we do the same. We have first to extend the sky. I will reduce the layer to one layer and then we go into live projection. Now we will fill like in the image before the sky. Now we will expand it and in paint it. Now what I will add is a mask, so I will double this layer, multiply and add a mask. and reduce to one layer. And then we will check the final image. So that's quite an amazing result and we have also fixed the sky. Now we will take a huge image, 54,000 pixels per line and go into live view. Now let's see what happens. So it was the GPU one and also the RAM and a part of the CPU. 
So this is a 54,000 pixels per line panorama. We can see that Affinity Photo is still fast with my computer. And now we will fill this hole here. So we will use the 75 degrees standard uh, resolution and go into selection. So we can see it's quite fast. One important uh, thing, if we have a look on the RAM and also the GPU and CPU, I always close the app and open the app new if I take a new image. I recognized if I treat several images on the same session, I have not the same speed. Now we will go into in painting. So we choose in painting. And now let's see what happens with the computer. So I'm about 85 degree on the GPO one. As I mentioned before, I use additional fans. And I will show you the settings for Affinity Photo 2 for the memory. But this is the part where we use a lot of the computer. GPU 1 and GPU 0 with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. But at, it is important that the CPU and the GPU works together. I get faster results with the inbuilt GPU. On my desktop computer with 64GB RAM, I get faster results with the NVIDIA card. So you have to check that, which if you use the internal card or the additional card, can see on the SDD card that we have swap activities. For this reason it's important that your image is on the S SD card. Now we have finished. Now we will go back to the live view. You can see that I'm about 3%. We just check the document size that you can see it's real an image 54,000 pixels per line. And we can change the view, go deeper in, and that's really amazing with Affinity Photo 2. You cannot do that with Photoshop. At the end we have to finish the live projection. Now we can save the image. We have to export it. If we go into, you can see all these details.
Dokument Size 54000.